1973, a movie hit the screens that really grabbed people's attention with its gritty portrayal of the Old West. It's more than just your typical cowboy movie. It's a story that has funny, shocking, and sad moments all mixed in. As you watch, keep an eye out for these little bits of entertainment gold. What makes this film memorable for so many people? Maybe it's because it feels real, or because it shows the clash between right and wrong, or perhaps it's the legendary showdown between the good guy and the bad guy. Do you have any stories about how this movie has stuck with you over the years? What's your most special memory or personal experience connected to this film? Share your tales below. So get ready, partner. Let's go on a journey through the wild, wild west together. A classic western film released in 1973 explored the dynamic between a sheriff and an outlaw challenging typical western themes. It depicted their friendship turning sour, showcasing morally gray characters in an authentic old west setting. This movie greatly influenced later westerns, inspiring many to replicate its gritty realism. Directed by Sam Peckinpah, it marked a pivotal moment for him and the cast including James Coburn and Chris Christopherson. The soundtrack by Bob Dylan perfectly captured the film's atmosphere and themes. Even today, the film remains relevant for its exploration of friendship, betrayal, and the pursuit of justice. Its portrayal of lawmen versus outlaws still resonates, along with its examination of moral ambiguity. In summary, this seminal western continues to be celebrated for its impact on the genre and exploration of timeless themes. In the film, Chris Christopherson, known for his role, has notable friendships with Muhammad Ali, Willie Nelson, and the late Johnny Cash. James Coburn, another actor in the film, was once considered for a part in 2001 A Space Odyssey, which eventually went to Gary Lockwood. Bob Dylan, also involved in the movie, dealt with a persistent stalker named A.J. Weberman, who accused Dylan of abandoning political causes and heroin use, leading to a physical altercation between them. The movie, released in 1973, brings together these personalities in a Western drama. In the early 1970s, a notable movie brought together an eclectic mix of personalities. Bob Dylan, recognized for his musical prowess, delves into the world of cinema. Not just a musician, Dylan's teenage years were marked by a Casanova spirit, managing multiple relationships simultaneously during his college days. Meanwhile, Alicia Cook Jr., a co-star in the film, departed this world on the same day as his fellow actor Elizabeth Montgomery, known for their collaboration in Johnny Cool. The curious synchronicity of their deaths adds a poignant layer to the film's narrative. Dylan, whose roots trace back to Hibbing, Minnesota, where he frequented the Libba Theater, has a unique connection to the movie. The theater, a regular haunt during his youth, bore the name of his grandmother, Libba Edelstein, a subtle yet personal touch to Dylan's involvement in the project. As the threads of personal histories intertwine, the film emerges not just as a cinematic venture, but as a convergence of lives and stories, each contributing a distinctive strand to the tapestry of Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. Bruce Dern's lineage ties him closely to political in legal circles with a grandfather who served as governor of Utah and secretary of war under President Franklin D. Roosevelt Lieutenant. His father's partnership with Adlai Stevenson adds further prestige to the family name. Bo Hopkins was the preferred choice for Billy, selected by director Sam Peckinpah himself. Elisha Cook Jr. mastered roles ranging from passive and fearful to utterly ruthless, each portrayed with chilling authenticity. These actors brought depth and nuance to their characters in the film. In the early 1970s, challenges arose during the making of a movie. The director and crew faced objections from the studio president about certain scenes. To resolve this, they quietly worked on the disputed parts without official approval. Meanwhile, an actor known for playing real-life characters received Oscar nominations for roles in other films. He portrayed figures like Ben Bradley in a political thriller, Dashiell Hammett in a drama, and Howard Hughes in a biographical movie. Another actor landed a role in the same movie after meeting a famous actor at the beach. Impressed by his interaction with children, the actor advocated for him, leading to an Oscar nomination. These backstage dynamics and the actor's unique journeys to recognition add depth to the story of the movie. In 1973, a film brought together notable talents from various fields. He brought in Bob Dylan for his musical prowess. Dylan won multiple Grammy Awards, including Best Male Rock Singer and Album of the Year. He was also joined by Chris Christopherson, whose brother, Craiger Christopherson, served as a Navy fighter pilot during the Vietnam War. Additionally, Jason Robards, a distinguished actor, received the American National Medal of the Arts in 1997. 
This collaboration of talent resulted in a film that left a lasting impact on audiences worldwide. In the casting of the 1973 movie, notable actor Jason Robards, a Civil War enthusiast, took on a role far removed from historical battles. Robards, known for portraying President U.S. Grant in The Legend of the Lone Ranger and lending his voice to the same character in the PBS miniseries The Civil War, brought a unique perspective to his involvement in the film. Another unexpected name in the mix was Bob Dylan, whose father's financial wisdom left a lasting impression on the iconic musician. Dylan's early exposure to the practicalities of money as he collected overdue payments for his father's furniture store stayed with him throughout his life. It's a lesson that perhaps contributed to the enigmatic troubadour's understanding of the struggles portrayed in the film. Interestingly, the role of Billy the Kid could have taken a different turn. Peter Fonda and Malcolm McDowell were offered the opportunity to embody the notorious character, adding a layer of what could have been to the movie's casting history. In the unfolding narrative of Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, these behind-the-scenes details offer a glimpse into the diverse backgrounds and decisions that shaped the film, showcasing a blend of historical interest, financial wisdom, and casting alternatives. Doug Taylor showcased his musical talent on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson, playing the xylophone with three mallets in each hand. R.G. Armstrong and A.M. Leonard were childhood friends who bonded over hunting, a tradition passed down from their fathers. However, tensions arose on set as James T. Aubrey criticized director Sam Peckinpah for his extensive use of camera setups and time spent shooting scenes. The movie's production became a battlefield due to conflicting visions. It was a challenging time for everyone involved. In 1973, a movie came out with a great cast and memorable performances. Directed by Sam Peckinpah, it starred James Coburn and Chris Christopherson as the main characters. One of the notable actors in the film was Bob Dylan, who not only contributed to the music, but also played an important role. Dylan's music is highly regarded, and he's been recognized for his talent many times. He's even won both a Nobel Prize and an Academy Award, which is quite rare. Another actor in the film was Jason Robarts, who is known for his many different roles. He won an Emmy in 1988 for his performance in Inherit the Wind. Together, these actors added depth and richness to the story told on screen. In the 1973 movie, Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, several notable actors played crucial roles. Richard Yeakel, despite battling cancer, was initially expected to return for the voice role of Link Static in Small Soldiers, a project by director Joe Dante. Unfortunately, Yeekel succumbed to cancer before the shooting commenced. Notably, this film reunited him with fellow cast members from The Dirty Dozen. Another key actor in the movie is Bruce Dern. His ancestry is a mix of English, German, Scottish, Scots, Irish, Northern Irish, and distant Dutch and Welsh roots. Bob Dylan, who also contributed to the film, used the stage name Elston Gunn early in his career. These diverse backgrounds and stage names added unique dimensions to the cast and the overall dynamic of the movie. Each actor brought a distinctive element to Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, contributing to the film's depth and complexity. The collaboration of these talented individuals with diverse backgrounds enhanced the overall cinematic experience.